Study and research rely a great deal on information. The amount of information available is growing all the time, particularly on the internet. This is great, of course, but how can you tell whether the information you find is any good? If you're looking for good quality information for your assignments, it's often best to start with books and journal articles. Journal articles have often been through a process called peer review, which is a way of trying to make sure that poor quality information just doesn't get published. It has to be checked by other experts first. In addition to books and journals, you can often find excellent websites hidden amongst the online bookshops, videos of cats and political petitions which seem to fill the internet. When I'm wondering whether something's good enough to use, I think of bread. Yep, I said bread. Not to bake, but as a five-step thinking tool. Bias, relevance, evidence, author and date. Five quick checks to see whether the information can be served up in your work. This system can be applied to any source of information that you're thinking of using. First, bias. This is a viewpoint which influences what we believe. It could be political, religious, cultural or something else. Information is considered biased when it only presents one side of a complicated argument or only reports selected facts which the author agrees with, perhaps because they're trying to promote a political cause or sell a product. It's particularly important to remember that all newspapers have a bias towards or against particular political parties, which will affect how they report the news. Next is relevance. There are two sides to this. Firstly, the content. How relevant is the information to the subject you're studying? If it's not relevant, it's best to just move on to something else. Secondly, the level. Is it sufficiently academic to use in an assignment? For instance, a web page or a leaflet written for the general public to understand a legal topic is probably not sufficiently academic for a law essay. Sometimes it might work the other way around. The information might be too advanced to be relevant to the type of assignment or research you're working on. Next is evidence. Is there any evidence offered for what's said? The author might refer to research or statistics, but make sure it's clear where the statistics came from or who carried out the research. If the information is hard to verify, it's also hard to trust. Then there's the question of who is the author. It might be a named person, or it might be an organisation, but either way, who are they? What experience or qualifications do they have to talk about the topic? And finally, date. When was this information written? It's not always easy to find this out, but keep an eye out for things like copyright dates and so on. If the information isn't recent, it may have gone out of date due to new research or changes in the law. Try applying all five of these questions to information sources that you come across. You won't always be able to answer all of them, but it will help you work out which information you should trust. And finally, don't forget that any information you use needs to be referenced, whether it comes from books, journal articles, the web, or anywhere else. If you want to know more about how to find, evaluate or reference information, speak to your friendly academic support librarian.